we talk about the theater of the asset, the playwright Samuel Beckett, and the play Waiting for Godot. We have to remember the historical background of the 50s. We are after World War II, and there is the beginning of the Cold War. People at that time remember the atrocities of the Nazi concentration camps. Of course, also the memory of the atomic bomb dropped by the Allies was very present. And there is a disillusionment um, for the fact that Britain had been reduced to a second class. So these are elements we must uh, consider when we talk about uh, the, this new way of making um, theatre. There was not a complete genre about this. So dramatists, uh, they didn't argue about the absurdity of the human condition, but they just presented it in, in a concrete uh, situations on the stage. Um, main themes are the sense of man's alienation, the cruelty of human life, the absence of the futility of objectives, and the meaninglessness of man's struggle. Um, key words here are sense of anguish, helplessness, ruthlessness, um, especially in the young generation. Man's life uh, seems to be without a meaning and without a purpose. Uh, there is a problem of communication and understanding. Um, the power of reason um, is mistrusted. Um, there are less values, uh, lack of moral assurance and decline of religious faith. One of the most important uh, playwright of this time it was Samuel Beckett, who was born in Dublin in 1906. He was sent to the same public school uh, as Oscar Wilde. In 1923, he went to the Trinity College. He graduated uh, in French and Italian. He obtained uh, the post of exchange lecturer at l'école Normale Supérieure in Paris. He settled in Paris, where he dedicated himself to writing. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1969 and died uh, the 22nd of December 1989. Um, he wrote many novels, but um, his most famous works uh, um, were his plays. Um, his plays belong to the genre of the theater of the absurd. And two of the best known ones are Waiting for Godot and, and Gay. Waiting for Godot was written in French, um, performed the first time in Paris 1953 and then in London 1955. Um, Beckett's play seemed to be chunks of dreams or nightmares stolen from the subconscious and represented in writing. Uh, he highlighted things of loneliness, isolation, suffering. And he intended his plays to be the representation of the isolation and the suffering of men. If we want to focus on the main features, we can say uh, that Waiting for Godot, presented in 1955, um, was a revolutionary play. It has a circular structure because the events presented in the first act are repeated almost unaltered in the second act. The play, which starts and finishes in the same way, revolves around two main characters, Vladimir and Extragon. And if we think about the, uh, the third main character, Godot, uh, we can say that he has no uh, definite identification. His name, however, is very similar to God. Um, we just know about him that he has a white beard and sometimes he is cruel because he beats the boy. Um, the play doesn't have a unitary style. Um, broadly speaking, its main features consist of short dialogues um, among the characters short monologues and short silences. Each of these features is used to achieve different effects. 
The dialogues produce a comic effect. The monologues deal with serious reasoning on the meaning of life and silences symbolize the difficulty of communication among men. The atmosphere of the play shifts from optimist to pessimist depending on the reader's interpretation of the events. Um, even though there is nothing to be done, the characters try to do something. Even though Godot never comes, uh, he, may scum, he may come the following day, um, thus leaving the issue open to some hope. The absence of a precise setting and, and time gives a universal flavor and makes it open to different interpretations. Uh, if you focus on the plot of the story, uh, we can say that uh, waiting for Godot um, has no real action. Two tramps, Vladimir and Extragon, are waiting for Godot's arrival by a barren tree. Uh, the two neither know who Godot is, nor if he really comes. To pass the time, they talk and play verbal games, and even take into consideration the possibility of hanging themselves. As they wait, two other characters enter the stage, Pozzo and Lucky. The former seems to be the master and holds the latter, his slave with a rope. Vladimir is moved by Pozzo's unkindness towards Lucky and asks him the reason for his behavior. Pozzo answers that Lucky deserves to be killed for his terrible behavior without explaining what this terrible behavior consists of. Pozzo then orders Lucky to speak. Lucky's monologue, however, turns out to be a series of incoherent sentences. Then Pozzo and Lucky leave. After they left, uh, a boy enters to communicate to Vladimir and Extragon that Godot won't come. So, after his departure, Vladimir and Extragon decide to leave, but then they not, do not move and the curtain falls. So, we have the beginning of the second act. Uh, there is a difference in the, in the setting. Uh, the tree has some leaves. Pozzo is blind and Lucky is dumb. However, Pozzo seems to be unaware of the change that had occurred to him. Um, so, he doesn't remember the meeting of the two men before. They leave and Vladimir and Estragon continue to wait. Then the boy arrives one more time, saying that Godot will not come. Uh, he insists that he mm, was not the one who uh, was present the day before. After he leaves, Estragon and Vladimir decide, decide to leave, but again they do not move. The curtain falls and the play ends. So we can say um, that Waiting for Godot was an immediate success because it described the situation of um, difficulty the um, people were facing at that time. So the two tramps uh, became the emblem of the absurd because with the actions which seem useless and senseless, they represented the anguish the ruthlessness and the lack of purpose of their time. If you want to read the complete play, I put here the first link. Then there is um, a series of very uh, interesting videos from Course Hero, and you have here the list of the links. You can find everything on YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye.